Hi, can see there. Um, hi. This is the new room. So yeah, I basically have moved back in and I moved off campus this year. I live on Pine Street, so if you know Philly, you know where I am. But I've been putting this off all summer and I feel like this is the time to go ahead and do these pin course reviews. I've been doing this for like two semesters now, so this is like season three, episode one, and we're gonna start off with Physics 102. I took it last semester. And I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it at the start. Go ahead and like and subscribe. If you're already here, you might as well. But anyways, in spring 2021, I took Physics 102 with Stephen Hackler. This was actually a really good experience, so I'm happy to do this review first. So basically, Physics 102 is second level introductory physics at Penn. It's a pre-med requirement. It fulfills sector six, which is living world, and it also fulfills the quantitative data foundation. This course is made up of a lecture, and it's also made up of an associated lab. Um, the lab is actually a part of the course, so you don't have to register two different courses. It's all under one thing. The lab is also pass-fail, so just make sure you don't fail and everything should be good. You can fail up to two, I believe, and still pass, so yeah. So the way that we did this course during COVID is we had a recorded lecture that we would watch every single week. And there was also an associated, what's called comprehension check. It was about five questions and we could take the quiz as many times as we want. Basically, we watch one lecture about 40 minutes to an hour every week. And then during the week, we would meet two times synchronously and do classwork. So we would meet on Tuesday and Thursday and we would do a classwork activity. We just do like maybe a three question worksheet that took like the whole hour and a half. It wasn't like an easy three questions. And we did those in groups. Thankfully, we got to choose the groups. So I actually chose three people that I already knew before the class and we would do all the classwork together. But basically we would do those two meetings during the week and then every Saturday morning, a quiz would open up on Canvas and we would just have to turn that in by Sunday at 12 p.m. P.m.? Yeah, 12 p.m. Also, there was the lab that was due every Wednesday at 11.59 p.m., which it was like in the middle of the week, which kind of sucked because when we're trying to study for other courses, it just kind of got in the way sometimes, but that, that was all that was also there and it just is what it is but yeah so to get into and talk about the content of the course a little bit I felt like the course was kind of split into two different sections so we first started off kind of going over electric charge and electric force then we kind of went into what's called electric potential then we started going into electric current and then we started going into electric circuits so the beginning of the class felt like it was more into like electrical stuff. And then the second part of the course, we got into magnetics, electromagnets, and then we got into light and lenses. I feel like it's kind of split into two different parts. A lot of the first part is really based around electric and electric circuits is what it kind of culminates to. And the second part of the course is more wrapped around lights lenses and we get into like a little bit of like theoretical situations with light and just stuff like that basically. The content of this course is really kind of based off of the week before. This is how it is for a lot of courses obviously but like I just listed all of it is electric so you have to make sure you understand for example electric charge before you can go to electric potential. And before you go to electric current, you have to understand electric potential. And then before you understand electric circuits, you obviously need to understand electric current. So it's really based off of the things that you learned the week before. And although most classes have it like this, this one felt like it had it maybe a little bit more. So to talk a little bit about the grading scheme of this course. So this is how the course was graded. I will move off screen for a second. And as you can see, most of the grade was based off of our weekly quizzes that I talked about, due every Sunday. Um, that was most of our grades. There's also classwork, so the problem sets that we did during our synchronous lectures counted towards our classwork, and also the comprehension checks that were due after we watched our asynchronous lectures also contributes to that. 
and then there's the 10% homework. And we use the exact same program that we used in Physics 101, which is Mastering Physics. So if you use that in Physics 101, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and it's basically the same thing. And then the quizzes, they were actually like very doable. They weren't too tricky. Um, they were out of 20, and most of the time the average for the class was above 90%. We were actually able to also redo three quizzes as our final exam if we needed to kind of move our grade up a little bit. So that was really cool, but most of the rest of the grade is just based off of completion things like comprehension checks and problem sets, so yeah. So now to talk a little bit about the difficulty of the course. This was actually one of my less difficult classes this semester. The reason that I say that is conceptually, the things in this course are kind of difficult to grasp, I will say that, but once you grasp it, there's not much variability to the way that they can ask questions. So in other courses, for example, Math 104 is just the one I'm going to use. Conceptually, it's difficult to grasp, and then after you grasp the concepts, you can ask questions in very different ways and still trick students. But in this course, once you grasp the conceptually difficult things, there's not many different ways you can ask the questions and that makes it just way easier when you're being tested on it. Um, overall, I would give it a seven out of 10 on difficulty. Again, just because it was conceptually difficult, definitely. But after you get it, you get it and there's not much variability that you can add to the questions to trick. So now to talk a little bit about the quality of the course. This was probably one of the best courses I've taken because of Stephen Hackler. Um, he's a very kind and understanding professor, first of all, but he had very good and very laid back office hours, which I really enjoy, really laid back office hours where I feel like I can ask any question that I want. And the good thing about him is that when you ask him a question, he thoroughly answers it and makes sure that you understand. And that might seem like the bare minimum, but it's really not. I've been to plenty of office hours with professors that if you ask them a question, they may get snarky and ask you a question also, which doesn't really make sense to me. So what I'm trying to say is he actually sits back and thoroughly explains things to students. And you can tell he really wants people to understand and learn things. So for that reason, I think the quality is really high. Nine out of 10. Yeah. All right, so final thoughts slash tips to succeed. Overall, this was a very good course, especially because of Stephen Hackler. Um, shout out him, I appreciate it. It definitely, it properly challenged me, but it wasn't overwhelming. So that's something that I really enjoyed with the course. But just to go back again, Stephen Hackler, if you see him listed as teaching this semester, you should really like go out of your way to get in his class if you can. And in order to succeed in this course, just make sure that you really beef up your studying towards the start of the semester because at least for the first half of the class, things are really based off of the week before. So you wanna make sure that you thoroughly understand what went on the week before so you understand what's going on this week. So that's all I have to say about that. And yeah, other than that, just believe in yourself, know that you're good and that you can do this, and do you. But yeah, this is my first pen course review for spring 2021, and if you are planning on taking Orgo 1, or if you're thinking about taking Stat 111, make sure you go through my channel because they should be here or somewhere here soon. So have a good one, thanks for watching, and hopefully you do well in Physics 102. Peace.